Hi, today we're going to read a book called Many Luscious Lollipops. It's a book about adjectives and it's by Ruth Heller. An adjective's terrific when you want to be specific. It easily identifies by number, color, or by size. Twelve large blue gorgeous butterflies. It describes all things with style and grace. And also it describes a place. Mysterious, star-spangled, asteroidal outer space. Or any special member of our precious human race. A weary, wounded, bearded, and bandaged tennis ace. An adjective describes a thought, idea, or emotion. Peaceful coexistence, a universal notion. An adjective's terrific even when it's not specific. Some jelly beans, a few gumdrops, and many luscious lollipops. It never fails to add details to what you write or say. A mesmerizing, colorful, and glittering display. Use as many as you wish before, but after you need two or more. A wet and soggy, drizzly day, rainy, wintry, and gray. And it's perfectly okay if you arrange your words this way. Roses are red, violets are blue. There's a predicate adjective if you do. And if you ask a question too, was this puzzle hard to do? Demonstratives will help you choose this way, that way, you win or you lose. I like these socks, but not those shoes. Possessives always tell you whose. Our circus acts are front page news. The clown's red nose, the elephant's pose, the bareback rider's twinkling toes, her horse, of course, its prancing gait, and the daring young man with his trapeze mate. Three adjectives used frequently are articles, a uh, and an and the. As anyone can plainly see, there's a fern and urn on the balcony. Treat proper adjectives the same as any other proper name. A Persian rug, an Irish setter. They always begin with a capital letter. If you wish to create an adjective, add ibel, able, us, or I, or any other suffix seen describing this famous, remarkable queen with her doll-like face and golden crown and jeweled irresistible renaissance gown. It's a beautiful, regal, expensive dress for this popular monarch called Good Queen Bess. She has lovely, satiny, flawless pearls and gleaming gems in her reddish curls. Some adjectives compare. Curly, curlier, curliest hair. Fairest, fairer, fair. For, com for comparatives, just add an ER. For superlatives, add EST. Except for the few irregular ones like good and better and best. Use comparatives to compare just two and superlatives for more. The taller animal of these two is the tallest one of the four. At times you must use more and most, and at times use less and least. Astonishing beast, more astonishing beast, and the most astonishing beast. Fattening feast, less fattening feast, and the last is the least, the least fattening feast. The end. Thank you for reading this book with me, and I hope I get to see you guys soon. I miss you. Take care.